hello guys welcome to my channel today I want to show you uh, how to set up a Django server and start a project so we'll go with the installation then we'll go ahead with the running the server so to install the Django we need to install using pip or pip install Django and it will collect all the files, libraries, or whichever is necessary. And that's it. We're gonna start our project. Uh, it's a simple uh, video. I just wanna make a uh, make because you know m many people they don't know like uh, they step back in starting a project uh, because you are re you are really new. Uh, it will I think it will help out to them like you know who are new to pro programming and Django environment just to make sure uh, how, how you set up the server and everything So I think it has installed, collected all the packages where PyTZ, SQL Parse, Django, these are all uh, inbuilt packages. When you're trying to install Django, this will help you uh, to connect to the database, which is an inbuilt database. We have a SQLite and uh, which will also help you to deploy your, when you're trying to deploy your application, uh, these are all the packages which will be uh, running in the background and trying to push our code into the deployment so yeah I think it's almost done Okay. Meanwhile, I have uh, pulled up my. Uh, I'm trying to build an e-commerce Django site, um, so it's completely nothing in it. Uh, once you start the project and the folders, this is an environment which I have created. E in env ecom, I just try to create an environment for every project on on its own because you know. There are multiple projects we have been working on and uh, I don't want my system to be messed up even like you know if you're working on a pro project and the company uses like a Python version 2 and you're trying to use Python 3 and it might collide with each other uh, and your project will definitely mess up. So, uh, it's it's good that you have uh, have an environment so I think Django has been installed we will check it out by running the command Python minus M Django version 3.0.6 is the latest version which we are trying to use right now so yeah um, we have Django uh, basically Django is installed in our machine right now and we will check uh, what are the commands uh, what are what are the things we can do with django admin so if we just try to enter django admin it's gonna show us like list of commands we can use and uh, we can start the project we can start the app migrations all these things so let's start the project over here uh, django admin start project project name uh, start project uh, is a command uh, Django admin and we are trying to give a project name I try to give as ecom uh, where ecom is a shortcut for e-commerce it's gonna create a couple of files so let's see like ecom has been created I'll clear out the stuff yeah uh, ecom uh, is the project has been started and uh, I'll just go to sublime you can check here the project structure how it been like uh, ecom it got uh, init file is gi.py 
settings file which is more important to us uh, to if we have any installed apps we need to go over here and uh, place it so I'll go through it in the next videos like this is the basic structure of the file and uh, manage.py so this file uh, with this with the help of the manage.py we are trying to run the server uh, using localhost so basically it's a simple command where you just need to uh, run the server like you know uh, if you go into the pro we need to go into the project first before making sure that we need we can access the manage.py so cd ecom and do ls if you can see manage.py then you are ready to start the server manage.py uh, run server uh, server python manage.py run server so it is uh, it has started the server and watching file changes with stat loader so just if you go to google because i have already know uh, my server which is on the local host uh, and 8000 is a port we are working on it uh, it's gonna pop up saying the install works successfully congratulations that's awesome and if you want to break out of the server you just need to do control c then you can see like you have a uh, project may not work properly with unapplied migrations uh, if you're trying to we will apply those migrations uh, in next video and we'll also create an app which will be useful so at the first uh, we can see here like my i can run the port or at http 127.0.0.1 it it call and you can also copy paste it and uh, run it it doesn't work right now because we haven't started our server we just break out of the server so we're gonna try to run again and let's see with whether that port and the 1000 127.0.0.1 works so i'm trying to reload yes there you go that's it guys like it's so simple and uh, if you have any uh, like anything about reviewing just put the comment below i will look at it and i'll try to do more videos on it thank you so much i appreciate it have a good day